Welcome to the 2012 Rose City Open. Steve Yang here, with, and I'm with Doug Salter here in the studio, and we're going straight into the action with Sean Phillips yeah. first yeah, up Sean. on the box. He's going roller up hole one. Good shot. Good shot. That's pretty good. Yep. 456 yeah, part three. Next up on the box, James Moore. I don't know what he's throwing here. Several routes on this hole. Back end to the right or straight down the middle. It looks like an eco race. James kicks off the route and does not get the full roll of the disc and panned out a little early. But that's not going to be a problem for Par. Nico LaCastro. Top five player in the world. Playing the B tier here in Portland. It's a rare treat. He's going roller. It's a rare treat to have an elite player playing our local B tier event. And so we're happy to have Nico here. And he's a great player, a great person. And it's great to have this kind of competition at a B tier in Portland. And he just ripped a good backhand roller right down the center of the fairway. Nate Saxton, Team Innova. And that's pretty Nate much. Nate roller extraordinaire. Hits a root also, but keeps yeah. on going right up the hill. That was pretty yeah, much Nate. picture perfect. Oh, picture perfect roller. James. He's going to give this a little run. Why not? Give it a run. It's uphill. Good background behind it. Hey, James. Nico's got a look. He's not afraid to run at these. Oh! Ooh. Good try. He makes most of those. Sean Phillips, we've hole one and hole 15 are the only two holes in, pure, in Rose City Open history that have not been birdied on video. Every other hole has been birdied on video. Oh, yeah, there's the that. first one. Count it! Sean Phillips with a huge birdie on hole one, and that is how you want to start your final round. Everybody should be smiling after a hole like that. Nate Saxton, closest to pin. Can we get two? Oh, dang it. Slow-mo action replay. Let's see another replay of this. Sean Phillips, first birdie on hole one on video. Sean Phillips in the house, right in the heart. Sean, uh, Sean Phillips, uh, uh, a, a Brody Miller disciple. And a Jerry Miller disciple. Nico. He's really playing good golf. And uh, these guys are going to tap out for their threes. And we got one bird. One bird, three, three pars. pars. Sean with the box. He's going backhand turnover, air shot. Hole mm -hmm. two, dog leg right, 273 yeah. feet. That's a difficult shot. Well, there's several different routes. You could throw a backhand roller, a sidearm, or a turnover backhand. James going forehand. And that was uh, a little inside. Yeah, I think he clipped the tree. Three feet. That's not what he was looking for. Nico. What's Nico going to do? Is he going to go air shot? It looks like he's going to go air shot. The trick is to get it tight right around the corner, missing the trees, but there's a maple just past it that you gotta miss also. Beautiful, really Nico LaCastro throwing like an elite golfer. And Nate Sexton gets around the trees. And dang it, <laughs> Nate, he doesn't, gets around. Doesn't seem too happy about it. James is gonna give it a run. High and left. Nate Sexton's going to give it a run. And now Sean Phillips. He's going to give it a run. You can't, you got to leave this one close because this is one of the windier, it can be one of the windier holes Nico. here. Nico. Uh -oh. 
You want to leave it. You want to give it a run. But leave it close. And Nico gets a birdie. Yep. Nico putting with his driver. James. Sean. Nico with the box. Hole Nico three. with the solo deuce. He takes over the box. And he's going roller. This is a hole three dogleg right. Very good sidearm line. Look and at also that. A perfect wow. roller line as well, which Nico took full advantage of. Sean's got two discs. Looks like he's got two rocks. And gonna throw a mid range roller. Good line. Oh, oh, he clips that little twig. I don't know what. Someone should have moved that out yeah, of there. Takes the uh, the line off of his disc that, and he fades out left. That cost him a stroke. James Moore. James Moore going flick. It's it's not an easy forehand. It's it's you got to keep it low and it's a, it's like a low punch forehand and it's not e not easy for. For even a, a good forehand thrower. It's a small straight line for about 150 feet, and then you gotta have it turn right. Nate Sexton's going forehand, and he gets a wrench, and that goes down and goes, pans out. That might have helped him a little bit. Sean Phillips! And he's gotta lay that up. He doesn't have a very good line on that there, and James is gonna give it a run. Nico, count it. That's two in a row. That's two birdies in a row. Nico. Nate's first birdie of the round. Taking control of the round like an elite, top elite player. And he's getting his easy birdies in birdie alley. Sean gets his three. And Nico is jumping up, jumping out and taking control of this round right away. James for far. Rose City Open in May, we got all these beautiful flowers blooming all over the place. Here, uh, we, here we have a 318 foot par three dog leg left and Nico hit the perfect line. Up and over. Yep, up and over that tree ha hanging out in the middle of the fairway and then you want to- Is that what you do? That is exactly, I aim for the big tree in directly behind the curve in the fairway. Nate. A little low. That's a little low. But a lot of oh. times, oh, not this time, but a lot oh, of times you can get yeah, lucky and punch much through, much through those trees and you have a nice birdie shot. Sean Phillips, he's looking fresh and clean. And for, yeah, yeah for it. this shot, he's throwing a rock. Oh my God. That's a rock and that's Look at that. right there. Sean Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Nico's looking to purchase that disc. James Moore, he looks like he's going... Same same path. He's going to take the same line right at the big tree down the center of the fairway. So if he throws too low, he rolled turns his wrist. it over. Rolled his wrist. He rolled his wrist and flipped it over. And that is, that is an exact example of the key factor at Pier Park. Get James. off the pad cleanly. If you don't get off the pad cleanly up here, you're gonna find yourself in the trees and trying to save pars. Nico for three in a row. There's a turkey. There's a turkey, Nico LaCastro, Team Innova. Sean Phillips for birdie. Let's see if he can hang on. John's a local product, very unassuming, very quiet. He's worked really, really hard over the years and has become a really solid player. A, a Brody Miller disciple. Disciple of the Miller clan. And it, and it shows in his game. I mean, he's, lo he's looking really good. And that is skipped up. Uh, a skip hit the top of the, the hill and he got over, but he not exactly what he was looking for, but he's gonna maybe have a look at it. Nate Sexton, he's up and over. 
That is a very difficult line. And they're hitting that gap like the veterans that they are. James Moore, I don't know what he's throwing there, but it's got a lot of aces on it. He he's has the power to get there, but can he find the right line? So easy for James. Sean Phillips, he skipped over the hill. He's got a long putt at birdie. He oh, found it! Beautiful. Sean Phillips is on fire! Rockwood! Rockwood! He must have learned that at Rockwood. Yeah. Did he learn that putt at Rockwood? Yeah, I think he learned it at night. Nate at Sexton! It's a little low. LaCastro, he's going to split the trees. The basket is right between the trees. That is insane. Because if you hit that tree, if you hit that tree, you get to hit the ground and roll all the way back down the hill. James Moore for his birdie. That's a 20-footer. Oh. oh, low. James is struggling. And Nico and, and James are going to have to settle with a three. Sean with the box. Pull. <coughs> Pull six. He goes the outside route and he's down there. See what Nico's doing. This is short enough for him to throw a rock, but he looks like he has a driver. That's flipping. Goes right down the center gap. That's flipping. Is it coming back? He gets a good skip. It's, a, it's a little deep, but he looks like he has a, a putt through the back door. Nate Sexton. Local Oregon product. If I had to guess, I'd say that's a T-bird. Straight down the center of the fairway. Straight is a straight. Yeah. A little short, but he's got a good poke at it. Wow. Made a local product from Oregon. James Moore. Another Miller disciple. And another local product. Sometimes referred to as the kid. The kid. Because he started playing when he was so young. And he rolled his wrist again. This is one of those things here at Pier where... That's not what he was looking for. If you can't throw straight, you're going to find yourself with a lot of trouble. James, he's going to give this a run. It's over 100 feet away. His hat comes off. Oh! oh off the top of the oh. basket and yeah, skips a little bit past. He's going to leave himself something. Sean for birdie with the gallery behind him. Wow. Count it. XD. That's two in a row for Sean. Three in a row. Is that three in a row for Sean? Yes, it is. That's three in a row for Sean. Nico for his birdie. And Nico for his fourth birdie in six holes. James with a long par putt. He skipped off the top, and he actually missed that. And had to, t had to cart a four there, unfortunately. And uh, Jason Pinkle! Oh. Count it! We're having a Jason Pinkle putting party on hole five, the lead car. The death putt from the top of the hill. Wow! Hits the red tape. Jason Pinkle is on fire! Here's a slow motion replay. Jason Pinkle on the lead card of the Rose City Open. This is why he's, this is why he's on the lead card. That's what putting with no fear will get you. Fearless putting with the death roll roll away in the background. Pinkle just slamming it into the pole. Pinkle told me he was listening to Bill Withers the whole tournament and he was just grooving to it. And that's why he was on the lead con the whole week. Scott Withers from Coos Bay for his bird. And that's not what he was looking for. Dustin Keegan for birdie. Yeah, Dustin. Count it. Chris Becker with the box. University of Oregon college golf player. 
Team Golf member product. And that's a little low and a little right, oh, but he's that's not going to be a problem for par. He's down there. This is the lead card, folks. And Jason Pinkle had a hot weekend. He's on the lead card on the final round of Rose City Open. And uh, he's having a great weekend. And let's see what Jason Pinkle can pull out here on hole six. Rocking the Bill Withers. Jason Pinkle. Right down the middle of the fairway. Going a little short. A little short, but he's down there. He's going to leave himself maybe a 45, 50 foot putt. Dustin Keegan from Eugene, Oregon. Oh, that's a little wide. He's over there where James was, and that's not what he was looking it's, for. It's a, a easy birdie hole if you throw straight down the fairway. You get off the fairway here at Pier, you're looking at bogeys. Scott Withers from Coos Bay, Oregon. He's playing hot golf. He won the Great Northwest Open in two, uh, in uh, a couple years ago, and he's rocking the purple. He's going the Heiser route, and that is picture perfect. He pureed that gap. Skip right up to the basket. And that's a reach in. That Scott is Withers. an example of the perfect Heiser route. Scott Withers making it so casual. Let's see a slow motion replay. B E D G T V slow mo hot shot replay. Scott Withers from Coos Bay, just grooving one Four, right up the outside gap. 414 foot dog leg left. Look at that thing die. Mm. That's finger licking good. Scott Withers, that's an easy bird. We would call that P W M D. Cutting with my driver. Scott Withers, making it look fun and easy. You're getting birdies in the Rose City Open and you're having fun. Dustin Keegan, and I missed that. My camera goofed up and, oh, Pinkle! He's gonna have to settle for three. Dustin, uh, Scott Withers with the box. He's going forehand on hole seven and that's looking good. He, he gets the skip, hits the pole. 321 foot. And he is looking pretty good. Chris Becker's gonna follow, try to match that shot. It looks like he's throwing a sidearm as well. It's not that easy. This is it's a not an easy sidearm. Sidearm or backhand. A lot of trees to find your way through. But if you can find a gap, it's a really good birdie to get. He gets the flip. But that's too much flip, and he's over there at the other placement. That's not what he was looking for. Uh, Pinkle going the Heiser route. Look at this. Look at this. You don't see that very often, but he gets a good roll, and he's kind of off the edge of the dance floor there. Well, he's, he's, he's looking at it. Dustin Keegan's going forehand. And, and that didn't get enough flip. Nope. But he's down there. He'll have an outside shot for a birdie. So after nine holes, Chris Becker threw three down. Scott Withers, two down. Jason Pinkle, two down with a bogue. Dustin Keegan is one down. So everybody's pretty close here. These guys are not doing too bad. Hole nine, I skipped off to hole nine. Hole, and Nate Sexton with the box and he gets kicked. 415 feet, lots of trees again. Rose straight. Sean Phillips in the house. Just He's like Sean nice. Phillips did, straight down the fairway, fading left. Oh, he almost threw it in. That went over the basket. Nico LeCastro. Oops. That slipped out. Oh my God, that slipped out of his hand. That, that did that's slip not, out of his hand. That's not what he was looking for. A lot of trees between him and the basket. Again, the importance of staying on, getting off the pad clearly at here. Nico injured. That's. He's struggling a little bit. James Moore with the Star Destroyer. He's he's one plus, he's plus one. He needs to turn this around. Oh my yeah. God! Sneak. Right down the ZPP. center of the fairway. Oh. James Moore has just uncorked a monster, and he's parked it for the CTP on hole nine. Nico with a very difficult save for par. And that's actually pretty good from there. 
tough that's, stand. That's a terrible spot to be in. He actually did pretty good, and he's got a long par save. Oh! Man, that was close. That was a good go. Nico, a, car, a rare bogey for Nico, and you, you know he can't be too happy about that. Well, you can see the frustrating frustration mounting for him. And Sean, Sean Phillips is a little far away. James with the CTP. Can he close this birdie out? Yeah, Count it. Easy as five. He gets the bird and the CTP on hole nine. That's right. It's a good hole. Wow. Sean Phillips for par. Count it. And Nico. He's gonna have to settle with a four here. Um, he had he he had a hot front nine, and that's not how you want to finish your front nine. But this is pure park, man. Yeah, that bogey takes him from four under to three under. And Sean Phillips four down. James even. Nico three down, and Nate three down. Interesting battle here between two of the uh, two traveling pros and two local products. And uh, let's see, we're going off to hole 10, I believe, with James Moore with the box. And he's going to go backhand. 271 oh. feet uphill. That's really? not what he was looking for. Nate, going the forehand That's route. That's a really nice side on that. Route. Look at that. And I didn't see it. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, he's a little short. He's a little short, but he's up there. Sean going rock up the middle. And oh my that's god, awesome. that's why they call him Rockwood. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Phillips parked it. Nico LeCastro, he's got to match that. Right uh, down the middle, a little wide, right. and he gets kicked right. That's not what he was looking for. And that's what happens up here if you get off the fairway. James with the flick. And that's right there. All right. <laughs> James for par. No problem. Nate for birdie. Nate for birdie. Off the forehand route, he gets the easy birdie. That's his fourth birdie of the round. And Sean Phillips for birdie. Count it. Nice. And that's his fifth birdie of the round. And Nico. Nico for birdie, for par. Nico for par. Hole 11, Nate Sexton with the box. It's, it's a down and to the right and he kicks. You need to split those trees and Nate is a little wide and he hits the tree. And he's gonna have some work to do. Yeah, that's a 375 foot hole. He still has about 200 feet to go with some trees in the way. Sean Phillips, I think that's a star orc. He purees the gap. Oh, and that is flipping nicely. And it keeps going and does not yeah, come back. James Moore looks like he's going flick. Oh boy. Fucking he missed the gap. He went gets... wide, but that's still down there. It's, he's going to have... Uh, Maybe a poke at it, at least a, a easy par. Nico LaCastro. Trying to get comfortable on one of the worst pads at Pier Park. Always seems to be slippery and wet. Let's see if he can get the flip. Really, you want, you want it to, you want to hit that gap, flip, and then at the end, maybe fade back just a little bit. Fade back to the right for a little and while, he, and he, then come back left. He flexed out a little bit early. He, but he's still going to give this a run. Oh, off the, off the cage. He can't believe it. And Sean's drive disappeared, and the whole gallery was looking for it, and Sean has to re-tee. James for birdie. I'm like a up, dude. Nico actually climbed up on James's shoulders to look inside the Hobbit hut for the disc, and Sean, his, Sean's re-tee... Landed right there, About and he's got this for four to save four. 30 foot putt. Pressure putt. After a lost disc with the stroke penalty. 
potential disaster. He had an incredible tee shot on his second, on his on his re tee, and he's got this. To oh! save a four. Nice save. Pressure, putt. Sean Phillips saves a miracle four. Miracle four. For most people, that would have been a five. That's a four P. Lost disc penalty. Nate with the box on hold. Twelve. And that's a little inside. One of the easiest holes on the course. It should be a gimme hole for a thousand rated pro. 330 foot. He's a little 34 tight. foot. James is a little high. Get in the hole. He's a little high, a little tight. And basically, you're throwing at the two trees straight down the tee pad and having it turn left a little bit past them. Nico! That's a little inside. That's not what he was looking for. You know, this 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 hole is almost, it beca it's the 300 foot hole, it's almost a little bit difficult for the big these big arm guys. It, it also becomes a, a par bogey because if you don't get a par, it's like getting a bogey. It's one of the easier holes on the course. But again, if you don't get off the tee pad cleanly, you can easily look at a par. And, Sh and Sean uh, went wide there and that, that uh, that lost disc might have cost him two strokes. James with a huge birdie save. James, the only par, the only birdie on the hole. Everybody else feels like they got a bogey. Flip up. Sean, nice and safe through the gap. James is going the forehand turnover route. That is a really, really difficult shot. He got it. He got it. Nate Sexton. It looks like he's going roller. Oh. Hits a tree, keeps going, turns over, hits the ground upright. And he's rolled halfway up the fairway. That roller held that angle, and he had a miracle bounce off that. This is one of the more difficult holes. Uh, at Pier Park, 414 feet, lots of trees, lots of lots of paths. Nico takes the center path straight down the middle. He's wide and hits a tree. Hits a tree again. <laughs> James for birdie. Nice. Yeah. Birdie. Count it. Now that is almost like an eagle. That's a tough birdie to get. Sean Phillips for par. You want to be a little closer than that, but he hangs on. At Pier Park, you get, you have to make big putts to, for par sometimes. It's, Especially. There's, there's no... Oh, James Moore with the box on hole 15. And James go Moore get has get just get unleashed go, go, a monster. 450 yeah. feet, 52 feet. Oh signature God. hole at Pier Park. Oh, my God. James parked it. Uphill. Nico with can't believe it. Very few. One lines. more time. James with the Star Destroyer. He's going to pump it. And then he's gonna slam it. And look at that disc, it's nose up, and that disc is flipping. Flipping and diving. And look at the shape of that flight. Oh my god. James Moore, first birdie in on video on home 15. James Moore has just parked it for a reach in birdie on the hole 15. PWMD. Nico Lacastro cannot believe it. He cannot believe it. It's like, what do I got to do to beat these guys? Uh, Sean Phillips! He gets, the, he gets the flip on the disc, but gets kicked. Nico's going roller. Nico goes roller up the middle. Get up. And that bounced, but he's down there. He's through the first few sets of trees. We missed Nate had a great forehand and my camera geeked out. Oh my god. He almost threw that in. Nate, it looks as Nate, this is where Nate got with his forehand. Oh. Two off the basket. Sean for par save. Nice. Count it. Sean is on fire. He just walked over James Drive. And Nico See? for par. Look at James. He must have thrown that 452 feet exactly. Through all those trees? And uphill. 
He brought his putter, but I don't think he needs that putter. No. PWMD. Oh, oh my yeah. God. With my driver. James Moore in the house. Unbelievable. James, James with the box. He's going 11 time T Bird. Look at this. Ooh. Hole 16, 324 feet. It's a little high, a little right. Oh, yeah. But he dribbles through, and he's on the dance floor. You just see the basket sticking up over the hill. Sean Phillips. It looks like he's eyeballing the Heiser route. Loosen the wrist. Ooh, that's a little tight. And he overcompensated for James wide and, and high, and he was a little inside. That's not what he was looking for. Nate Sexton, he looks like he's going to go turnover. And Nate pretty much can throw every shot in the book. And that didn't, he didn't get the flip, but he got a nice bounce, and he's up there. I, That's not going to be an easy shoot. Nico LaCastro, he looks like he's eyeballing the turnover route. Nico, the back of the box. That's not usually where it is. Oh yeah. my God! Look at the shape of that flight, Nico LaCastro. That's a nice shot. One more time, slow motion hot shot replay. Nico LaCastro, T Minova, and that is textbook. How you play? How you throw this the turnover? Run. Nico giving it an ace run. He misses the basket by 12 inches. That's almost an ace. Look at that. Oh my god. Nice shot, Nico. That's why he that's why he's the elite five top five golfer in the world. Sean Phillips, he's gonna lay it up. Didn't get up bad cleanly. Nate's gotta lay up. Well, it's a death punt. And Nico LaCastro for birdie. Nice. Count it. James Moore just inside Nico for birdie. Count it. That's three in a row for James. That's a turkey. Yeah. Is that three in a row? I think it is. Three in a row. James Moore is on fire. That's three in a row and five birdies for the round. Nate Sexton. He's got a four to throw in there as well. I think, I think Nate was born with a frisbee in his hand. His dad is oh. a longtime ultimate player. Oh. Sean uh, still got a little work to do. He's got the death roll drop off in the back. It's only about a 12-footer, but still, you you got you to gotta get it in there. You gotta get it in there and you gotta close these, these holes out. James with the box. He's going champion destroyer. And that is too high and turned over. And that's not what he was looking for. He's gonna drop straight down. Soul 17, 477 foot dog leg left. The path is straight down the fairway. About 150, 200 feet. La Castro. And he follows James, and he's high, and he's wide. But that, it's but he wild. dribbles yeah. through. Oh. Into the trees, punches through. And he's on the dance floor. He is on the dance floor. <laughs> the scorecard doesn't know the difference. Yeah, it does not. As long Sean, as it gets through. Sean Phillips. Oh my. Right Look down the fairway. That is how you left. do it. Yes. Sean Phillips. Oh! oh! Did that hit the basket? Sean, it almost skipped in for an ace. <laughs> that looked like it hit the basket. That was pretty much textbook how you play this hole. Sean Phillips, Nate Sexton, and he flipped his over oh. and kicked right. That's not what he was looking for. James with a cigarette. He's going to give it a run. He's gonna give it a run, and this is one of the more dangerous greens. I think I think you really you really gotta you gotta try to leave this one close. Nate's looking at it. Ooh. Clips the tree branch, and he's a little short left he's, inside. He's left himself a little work downhill. 
Nice veteran putt. James for bird, for par. Oh, oh, and he spits through. That spits out for a bogey. And Sean is just inside where James was for birdie, and it's a little more difficult after you see that spit through. He's he's got to hang on here. Sean Phillips for birdie. Yep. Count it. XD. That's a good birdie to get. And Nico LaCastro for birdie. Count it. Nico's back on track. James for the four after all those birdies. And, and you know, I think he... he should have left that a little closer. Nico on hole 18. Power hole shot. Right Six birdies, two bogeys, four under. And he, he kicked over to the right. He's behind the box. He is not happy. Sean Phillip. It looks like Eco Green. Eco Green Plastic. I don't know what it is, like a destroyer or something. Sean Phillips! And... Oh, yeah. Nice, yeah. smooth, Go. flat back and lots of power, lots of spin. Fuck yeah, Sean, get it! Get it! Oh, Almost yeah. skipped it in. That went past the basket. I wish I had that problem. Oh my gosh. All right. Half of that problem. Nate Sexton, Team Innova. Nice and easy approach. Flat. Nice oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, oh, Look at that turnover God. at the last minute. Textbook. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Skipping right up next to the back. That's, that's right on the chip. Not a large run up. James Moore going champion destroyer. That's a little high. He cuts through. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. Yeah. And James Moore is yeah. part for reaching oh. birdie. Wow. Just throw it. Just throw it. Nice shot, Back kid. It. Let's take a look at Nate. Hole 18. Team Innova. Nate starts right off the edge of the tee. Nothing flashy about his throw. He's going to show us how it's done. A little left. A bigger right. Cross it over. Cross step. And shaboom. Straight is a straight. That this is gonna flip just a little bit. And then a little bit flip right there. And then curve just before the tree. Dive bombing towards the chips. And Nate is parked for about six feet. That's how you throw that's how you birdie 18. Nathan Sexton. Nico to save par. That's not easy from there. And Nico. Now that's a professional. That's a professional golfer. Nico's done and he is emotional. He's glad to be done with this tournament. He's, he's coming off of injury at, at the Masters. Kashan. Sean went too far away. He skipped too far past the basket. Nico taps in for a very frustrating four under, which is not a bad score at all. But for a top five Turing Pro, you expect a little bit better than four under. And I'm sure he feels the same way. But just an example of not getting off the pad cleanly. Sean Phillips for par, and he's done. There's Nate Sexton for two. Oh boy. And look at James. Look at James. PWMD. Putting with his drive. He doesn't even need the putter. And those guys are done. Sean Phillips, minus six. James Moore, a hot back. Struggled in the front and shredded the back. Four down. Nico shredded the front and struggled in the back. But he's four down. Nate, bogey free. The only player on this card to go bogey free. He throws a five down. And everybody's pretty good on this card. Good quality rounds from everybody. I think Sean has a chance to move up 
I don't know about the other players. And uh, that was a nice round from those guys. The scores are all over the place at Pier Park. And here we are. We're back at the lead card on hole 16. Scott Withers from Coos Bay with the step putt. Count it. That's a birdie. That was a par. <laughs> Scott Withers to save par from there. Jason Pinkle for bur, bur, par. Count it. Chris Becker, our leader in first place for birdie on hole 16. And he's showing us why he's been in, was in first place all week. Exceptional golf all weekend. Really good off the tee pad. Very conservative, but very clean lines he's drawing all weekend. Look at that snap. Chris Becker. One skip. Look at that. It's a little low, but he's down there. That's low for an easy upshot for a par. Scott Withers. A little high, hits the trees. That's not what he was looking for. No, and from there, that's a tough up and down. That's God, he got the pad clean. Jason Pinkle. Local product. Oh my God, Jason Pinkle. He gets the skip. Huge skip. And he's parked. Dustin Keegan from Eugene, Oregon. That's good height, but it's a little wide and he's straight into the tree and you can tell by his body language, he's not excited about that. And I think he knew it when he let go of that. Scott Withers with the flick and... It's gonna be tough to bar, par after that throw. That's not really that close. Uh, Dustin with a flick. Wearing his uh, yellow shirt. Oregon green. And this green is not easy to land the stick this greens. Becker for birdie! He tickles it. Dustin Keegan for par. to save par. Scott Withers to save par. Step putt. Count it! Nice. That's a huge par That's save. That's a tough uphill putt. He's probably not good footing. Dustin Keegan not happy about getting the bogey. You can tell his body language is, is, is a little bit... Oh, Jason Pinkle taking a, a, a cell phone snapshot of his... Look at Jason Pinkle's drive. He's going to have to watch his head. He's going to put that on his Facebook. Oh, Jason Pinkle! PWMD. Pinkle with the box. Hole 18. He's and another textbook throw. Oh no, goes a little short and left. He's down there though. He's got a good. He's got to look at a birdie. Dustin Keegan from Eugene. Funny nut. There we go. Get some legs. Down there. Jason Pinkle for birdie. I missed a couple drives there. Oh. He was going for it. Yeah, he might have left himself was, a little He was poke. going for that. He, he... Scott Withers turned his drive over a little bit. He's got a little bit of work to do. I don't know. He's, he's probably just going to lay out from here. Yeah, that's all he's got. Dustin Keegan for birdie. Struggling a little bit on these final few, few holes. And Jason Pinkle to save par. And he's done. Jason Pinkle with a hot weekend. And he has finished his round and he looks relieved. Yeah. Well, Pier Park is mentally draining. A lot of trees to contend with. Scott Withers closes out his, round, his tournament. Dustin Keegan for three. And our leader for the championship, Chris Becker. Nice job. Classic with the train going by. You can see the train on the tournament disc. Big weekend for Chris Becker. He wins the Rose City Open. Probably his first Open win. And he beat some very good golfers this weekend. Very hot weekend for Chris Becker. Chris Becker, six down, one bogue. Scott Withers, three down, 
Jason Pinkle, two down with three bogues. Dustin Keegan, plus one with one, two, three, four bogues. And he struggled a little bit, but, you know, these guys played, did the best they could. Well, again, it's a very, very mentally draining course because you, 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 if you hit a tree, it's tough to get up and down. So, yeah, it's exhausting. The, the scores are always interesting to see the scorecards at Pier because their scores are always all over the place. No. Yeah, and, it, it, you know? it really is the type of course where you don't have to be a big arm to score well, just consistent. And here's our beautiful Tournament Central. This is the first time we've had our Tourney Central in, 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 at this location. And just a little look at the at the crowd after after the round and uh, to give you a feel of what our tournaments are like here in Portland, Oregon. And this this is the only course within the Portland uh, city boundaries with a disc golf course, so pretty nice course. Thanks for com thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you like our videos, um, we're gonna on our bullseyediscgolf.com. We're gonna be having products available so we so we can get support and get, we can try to get more cameras out there on these courses, make more videos, and so we can get cameras for, on the women's division and the masters division. Remember, everybody, throw straight and hit the chain. Bullseyediscgolf.com. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Rose City Open 2012.